are five things to know as you head out the door this morning. A plane crashed around 545 last night here in Litchfield carrying two people. We don't know the condition of those two people, but according to Flight Tracker, the plane left the airport in Lewiston and was heading to the airport in Wales in Androscoggin County. We will keep you updated on air and online as we get more information. A man from Portland convicted of manslaughter is trying to get a new trial. Back in 2020, Mark Cardilli Jr. was sentenced to seven and a half years for shooting and killing Isak Muse back in 2019. Now, a justice on the Maine Superior Court did grant Cardilli's request for a post-conviction review. Cardilli did admit to killing Muse, but says he did it in self-defense. Cardilli claims he didn't get a fair trial because his counsel did not properly argue for self-defense. Prosecutors argued that Muse was not an intruder and was not armed at the time of the shooting. Police now say a body found in Caribou over the weekend was that of a woman from South Portland. The medical examiner identified the woman as Sonia Knight. Her body was found in Otter Brook on Saturday. Police say she was reported missing from South Portland in July, but they have not said how she died. The main CDC says mosquitoes in Wells have tested positive for the Jamestown Canyon virus. Symptoms of that virus range from fever and headache to more severe cases with brain and spine infections. The CDC says there are currently no known human cases in our state. Officials say it is smart to just take some extra precautions if you're spending time outside. Things like bug spray, long pants and sleeves and keeping screens on any open windows or doors. And the Portland Sea Dogs are expecting to welcome their 11 millionth fan soon. It's expected to happen during the current home series, which goes through Sunday. The lucky fan will get a prize package, including a special jersey and various gift cards, and also the chance to throw out the first pitch before the game. Before the home stand, which started yesterday, the Sea Dogs were a little more than 35,000 fans short of the milestone. If you want a chance to be that lucky fan, tickets are on sale at the Hadlock Field Ticket Office online or by phone. And going to a Sea Dogs game, got to do it at least once a season, right? It's, yeah. a, it's fun. I'd buy tickets for Sunday. Yeah, for, if yeah. they were 35 away and they have about, on the sixth day, if they average about five, six thousand mm. a game, then. Sunday could be the day. So. Yeah, that's going to be exciting. Play, that's like going to create a little buzz around really the fun. park. Yeah, you know? it's super fun. Yeah, it's good. Walking and, in. And Sunday sounds like a pretty good day for a baseball yeah, Sunday's game. Fine. Yeah, Sunday's fine. There's seven-day forecast. These next two days are gorgeous. We'll keep the good streak going. Sunshine, a lot of it. 70s over the weekend. We're still going to have a few scattered showers around after that rain on Friday. Um, so it's not a perfect weekend, but it's better than Friday, and a lot of the time it won't be raining. <laughs> All, right. All right? Boy, We're that's the bar this it summer. It really is. It really is, but the rest of those days on the bookends sound good. Mm -hmm. See you after Labor Day, everyone. <laughs> oh, you're out? Yeah, I'm oh, out. Oh, enjoy.